Hey guys, welcome to day 108 of my carnivore journey. We've got quite a few, I guess, things to cover, so I'm going to try to get through them as quick as possible today, but some things that you're probably going to want to stick around and watch, hopefully. Um, so first thing I like to kind of get out of the way is I like to give you guys my daily update, right? Um, as far as I like to just tell you right off the bat what I ate, how I feel, because, you know, hey, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you know, that's cool. If you're just here just to hear what I eat. Um, but today um, probably had quite a bit of food in a way like I don't I'm not sure if I really went over my calories again. I'm not counting calories, but you're going to have days where you might eat a little more like. What I would call maybe um, the dirty part of carnivore, right? So there's carnivore, and then when you do a few things that are acceptable to carnivore, but are considered dirty, like cheese and stuff like that. Well, today I had quite a bit of cheese, uh, maybe not as much meat, um, some egg, and you'll you'll get it. So just to let you know, uh, here's what I ate. You probably already saw by the thumbnail, but I had, again, now I'm not going to say carnivore pizza. This actually was a keto pizza because I did have a light layer of tomato sauce. Okay. I'm going to explain how I made everything for you. Again, that's why this video. So if you don't want to stick around, there's a couple things I'm going to talk about and, and tell you guys how I made those. Because I also had another request. And that is about the special concoction that was taught to me from a doctor friend about Pretty much like when you start to get sick, you start taking this immediately. And I'm telling you, um, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I did to where I was able to literally work through the first time I ever had CVID. OK, uh, and consequently, the, the next couple of times that I got it, this concoction, this, 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 per, this, this treatment, I'm going to tell you again, I'm not a doctor. I should, I'm always going to tell you, always seek professional medical advice and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Right. Always do those things. I'm just telling you what I did and what worked for me and was uh, amazing. And it also worked for my wife, my son. But anyways, so today I had a key, I had keto pizza, um, for snack. I had a meat stick. I didn't have any eggs today. So I had a meat stick and I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Um, still was drinking water. I did have coffee today. So I do have something to tell you about my coffee. So because I try to, t I try to be completely honest with you guys, it would be easy just to say, Hey, I had coffee with a splash of cream. Um, but I w ran late today because I was making those pizzas for, for everyone in the family. So it, it ran late because I had I made each one and it just take, takes time to make multiple. Right. So it, it, everything ran a little late. So I, that's why this video, I'm actually recording it at like two in the morning. <laughs> OK, so if you guys hadn't seen, you're like, hey, where's this video? It's normally out. Well, it, again, everything got ran behind and I had to go to my second job. First of all, let me tell you, the pizza, the pizza that I made was the the crust part of it is from low carb love the channel low carb love um she was the one i came across her video um i th i want to say it was like a meat lovers video is the title of it and it's basically pretty much a zero carb like or super low extremely low like crust uh carb crust and so that recipe, and I'm going to tell you how I did everything, but you should go watch her video um, to to truly see exactly and, and step by step um, and, and what she did, because, you know, her method may be even better than me or whatever. Who knows? But always give original people the love. That's why I wanted to credit um, the video or where the, the, the crust recipe came from. Um, now. Is with that being said, oh yeah. So if, as far as amount of food, I did I did probably snack on like a piece of bacon altogether, like one piece of bacon, um, a 
couple pepperonis when I was doing, I mean, you know, when you make pizzas, right? It's just like, Hey, a pinch of cheese. Hey, you know, so a couple little things like that. Um, and essentially when it came to the pizza, I want to say I had, I had six slices altogether. Could sound like a lot to some people, but remember this is breadless pizza, you know? So you figure it was a little, maybe one and a half eggs, maybe six ounces of cheese, uh, you know, or whatever, some pepperoni, you know, a little bit of bacon, you know, whatever. Anyways, it, it really isn't as bad as you think. And I wasn't uncomfortable. Um, I got to six and I just was done. I'm like, okay, I'm done. You know, it's good. I had my pizza fix. Very small, you know, just a little thin layer of, of uh, homemade pizza sauce. So I'll explain how I do all that here in a second. The coffee. So I didn't have coffee. That's where I was kind of going with things. So I didn't have my coffee or make my own. So I just took off. I grabbed my coffee cup and I know that at the truck stop, you can do coffee and they have half and half, like right out of the, the machine thing. Like they got the little spout thing and it's like half and half. And I know half and half's not like the greatest, but you know, I, I don't use a lot. I just put a little bit in there. But again, this was like an emergency because I don't use half and half at home. I just use heavy cream but, and they don't have heavy cream there. Anyways, so I get to the gas station. I get there and I'm, and I took my time. I filled up my, you know, filled up my coffee cup and I went and I always make sure that I get the half and half, you know, because right next to it is French vanilla. Okay. Big difference. <laughs> so, uh, half and half, you know, I put my little splash in. A4, get down the road. I get down the road. Coffee seems like it's probably cool. I have the lid off for, for a little bit. Then you know, I take my sip. It's it's pretty sweet. So I'm I was pretty sure from the taste that they must have mixed up the French vanilla and half and half because I was really careful to make sure I select half and half. Like I'm not stupid. You know, I wasn't in a hurry. I wasn't just like not paying attention. I literally was like, okay, I want to make sure I get half and half, you know? So needless to say, my coffee had a splash of French vanilla and probably a little bit of sweetener. So, you know, um, did it make me like start craving sugar now? No. Like I want to go back to my, my way of things. Um, I literally drank it with a huge sense of guilt, <laughs> you know, even though I knew it's like, look, it's not a ton of sugar. It's not going to kill me. I've been so low sugar for most of this, uh, zero at most times to, to small traces amounts. Like I said, some of the meat sticks have very little bit of gram here or something, you know what I mean? Or less than two grams. So very, very super low sugar. The pizza, I'm going to tell you guys how I make my pizza and then we're going to get into the medication stuff. So for, as far as the pizza goes, basically the pizza you're going to take, like, if it depends on the size you want, but basically if you just want an average size pizza, you're going to probably want to use six to eight ounces. If you do six ounces of cheese, then use uh, Colby. I used Colby Jack this time because the, the when I went to the store, they actually didn't have Colby. They only had Colby Jack at the time. So I had to use Colby Jack tonight, which was, was good. It was still fine. Um, but if you can use Colby, uh, six ounces of Colby. Now, if you, if you do the eight ounces, you want those two extra ounces to be mozzarella. So an easy way to do it is you just buy the eight ounce blocks. And then, of course, in quarters, right? One of the quarters is two ounces. So you just cut a quarter off. Then a quarter off of a mozzarella block and then grade the six ounces plus the two ounces of mozzarella and then a couple eggs. And I did like a half a teaspoon of uh, Redmond's real salt and like a teaspoon of garlic. And you just mix it all up into this kind of wet, you know, uh, shredded ball and you just spread it out. I used a big metal spoon that helps, you know, spread that out on a, on a parchment paper into a nice round crust. And you spread it out pretty thin, put in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. When it starts getting a little bit of brown, you can pull it out, flip it over. I just flip it over right. I take the parchment paper and just flip it right onto the pan. So 
the, the brown side now is the bottom. And then, then once it cools down just a little bit, then you can go ahead and top it with, with, you know, if you do keto style, you can do a light tomato sauce and then mozzarella, pepperoni, you decorate it how you want carnivore style, you know, meat, you want ground beef, you know, bacon, whatever you want. Now, as far as the sauce, my, I did a very clean sauce. I took a can of diced tomatoes, threw them in a food processor. Okay. I did, or uh, yeah, I did that. I did a, like about a tablespoon of garlic. I did just a little bit of basil, you know, teaspoon or so. And um, about a teaspoon of salt. And I took some pancetta and I, 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 um, I don't know how much, just like the standard little pack of pancetta. It was diced, threw it in a pan, sauteed it up for a few minutes, about four or four or five minutes. You know, I did, you don't want it to get like crispy. You don't want it like bacon bits. You just want to saute, get some of that fat rendering. And then I just dumped it in the food processor, blended it all up. So it's just really essentially a very clean sauce. And then you're just going to spoon it on your pizza, spread it kind of thin so it's not like you're eating a huge amount of tomatoes um and there's not a ton of sugar in the tomatoes i mean you know a little bit like i said spread that thin do your mozzarella pepperoni and bacon that's what i did and there you go so quick easy keto pizza um you don't have to have too much guilt with it and you can always work out all the all the numbers now quickly on to the medicine so again, when I got CVID, so here's what you do. You get three lemons, three grapefruit, peel them, save the peels. Take three, take all the peels from three lemons, all the peels from three grapefruit, put them in a, one of those big pots, right? Make sure you have a lid, but you know, those big, tall, what I call cowboy pots, you know, and <clears throat> you know, you can put probably a good 16 cups of water in there right and put those peels in there and you just you just put it on like a low heat low and just leave that lid on don't remove that lid and i just let it you let it simmer for like six hours like just do the whole day or whatever there's six hours leave the lid on and after about six hours you take one of those little strainer scoops and you just take out all the peels throw them away if you want or do it, com compost them whatever you want to do with them and then take that juice and then that, that broth that you made and you pour it into i had these ziploc screw on lid containers and i actually divvied it up among multiple containers and i put them in the freezer and then when you start feeling sick you take one out throw it in the fridge let it thaw out overnight and then what you want to do is just take a shot a couple shots of that take one in the morning maybe one in the evening and you just do that every day. And you also will take zinc and take liposomal vitamin C. That was the two major things I took. Now, if you started getting a little bit of aches and pains, sometimes I would take some Tylenol. But really, I, I didn't even have to take much Tylenol. You know, but just, just taking that concoction uh, and, um, and the uh, liposomal, it makes sure it's liposomal vitamin C, not just regular vitamin C. All right, because the doc told me, like, hey, liposomal vitamin C will absorb into your body versus just taking some regular vitamin C. It doesn't absorb very well. So liposomal vitamin C and zinc, those were two critical ones to take. Now, if you want to take extra stuff, whatever, again, I'm sure there's going to be many of you in the, com in the comments that's going to give me your own cocktails and your own things that you did. That's cool. Like, you know, people should have options, right? But that's what I found. Again, that's what was recommended to me, recommended to me, and it's worked for everybody that I've I've helped with that. And again, what's nice is you can freeze it; it'll store, and it tastes like crap. It tastes like crap. Now, back then, when I was doing Cvid, um, when I had Cvid, I wasn't doing carnivore, so I actually would put you know sugar. And put like a spoonful of sugar in the little, you know, shot of it, <laughs> and I'd stir it up real good, and I and I would take that uh, because shooting that 
stuff straight. Oh, it is horrible. It is horrible tasting, but I mean, it does the job. So a little warning on there. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to kind of make sure I covered that because, again, I, I had a request for that in the comments. And of course, you guys usually like to ask about certain foods like that. So I wanted to make sure I explained that. I do want to get to a, a quote of the day real quick. And today's quote comes from Aristotle. I think some of you have ever, I think some of you have heard of, of Aristotle. Uh, and it is, he said, it is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Yeah. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. You know, obviously we, we all go through dark moments. Um, if you've never gone through dark moments, then definitely praise the Lord for that. But when you go through dark moments, again, it's easy to get lost in the darkness. But he's right. You've got to focus sometimes. Sometimes once you stop and you feel like you're just in the darkness, sometimes if you just stop, you focus like he says, you can see the light. And then you start heading to the light. Things get brighter and brighter. Okay. So stay focused, my friends. Keep all that in mind. Guys, thank you all so, so much. Um, I love our community. So cool. I love you guys so much. We will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.